Hey everyone, it's Kelly here with KZ Geckos and today in this video I'm going to show you how I installed this iHeartGecko conversion kit onto a terrarium that I am building. So stay tuned. <laughs> Before you install your door, you do want to make sure that the opening of your tank is clean and wiped down. Once you unwrap your iHeartGecko door, you want to place it on the opening of your tank to make sure it's a good fit. Then you can begin to add your silicone along the edges of the tank to seal in the door. You want to make sure that whatever silicone brand you use, that it is 100% silicone and aquarium safe. I'll put a link in the description below of the silicone I used on this build. When you're done, you want to let the tank sit for 24 to 48 hours in a ventilated area. After it was dry, I took a razor blade to the edge to clean up some of the silicone. And then you're all done. Alright, and here it is, all complete and installed. I did go a little bit overboard with uh, the silicone because I was a little paranoid about it sealing properly. Other people that I've seen that do these will actually put tape along the side uh, before they add the silicone, which I did not do. And I think that's probably a pretty good idea. I probably will do that next time because uh, I did go a little overboard with it and it was a little bit messy, but I think it'll work out just fine. There it is. So this is the iHeartGecko 20 long um, door. And it opens like that, so it's got these little knobs right here that lock it in. Flip those open. Down here, there's a third one. And it opens up like that. It's really nice. It, you just go ahead and turn these and that is awesome I'm excited to see I could see how these might loosen up a little bit but I'm pretty confident though that maybe just screwing it a little bit getting taking the screwdriver and tightening it up will be just fine yeah there it is I have to say that they had awesome customer service I actually when I sent in my measurements I did make it a little bit confusing for them and they were awesome. They emailed me right away within that same day and clarified to make sure that we had the right door size, which was awesome of them. That's something you do want to make sure that you measure your tank before you order. All right, so there it is. I will put the link to the silicone that I did use. And you can also, there is a suggested brand actually on the iHeart Gecko website, which I will also put in the description. So thanks for watching. I'm excited. I hope you guys all found this video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you used iHeart Gecko products, let me know because I'm really excited about using some more of their stuff. And if you feel so inclined, hit that subscribe button because I will have some more content that will hopefully be as useful and entertaining coming up in the future. Bye.